T10. And we are here. The moment of truth has arrived. Punjabi legends taking on the Kerala Kings. Kerala Kings winning the toss and electing to field Luke Ronke. Just a few minutes ago, he batted out of his skin, made a marvelous knock, opened with uh, Umar Akmal. And Ronke in particular has looked very impressive. And uh, it's an extension of his innings. And uh, no doubt uh, he'll be looking forward to this contest with uh, of this grand final. Here comes Sohel Tanvir and punched off the back foot. It's a boundary to start off for the Punjabi legends. Very capable up there, but uh, look at that. Very consistent there with those two half centuries at the right time. And if you've got an opening batsman that does that, in T20 or T10, look out. That's the one. That is the one. It's gone out of the ground. Almost landing in front of the players in closer. For his liking, is sort of more that back end of a length. He's unlucky here. That'll race away for four, but it's not convincing. Now, this is what T10 can do to you. He's going wide on the crease, being mid crease particularly the right-handers and trying to shut down that angle so they can't free their arms. That's a cracker! Ah, oh, here's a mixture right on cue for our director to eat his heart out. That's almost the Yorker there with a slower one that knocks over Umar Akma. Hang on. It is. And Ronkis too. In fact, uh, the two most... Uh, Two high scoring batsmen, the run scorers, are together at the wicket at the moment for the Punjabi legends. No David Miller, no Armour Chest. This guy gets up to. Yeah, he's even quicker than Plunkett. Not in control, but he's got to get runs. That's a boundary. I didn't think that he timed it well. It got to him quickly. Yeah, a little short arm shovel. Really quick. The others sharp and brisk. Embrit, he can be a little bit sharp, very experienced. Ronki on strike. Oh, that's has it gone all the way? It has. My goodness, that was a footless. It was just a little flick, and I tell you what, it had to get it right. People were interviewed, so I'm not sure, but not much as yet. Oh, another one, another one. What a shot from Ronki. So impressive, Danny. And it's a shame that he's not playing cricket for the Kiwis anymore. Crunch this behind point. Wonderful stuff. Absolutely colourful. Another one! It's raining. It is raining here. 22 runs of that over. It's 49 for one. Very different though. Well, if you don't, just don't bother coming back if lunch is that good, Rush. <laughs> Ronky on strike. And goes over cover. It's gone all the way for six. My goodness. This is Mahapriya, short and wide. And smoking. Loving this to pieces from Luke Ronke. 60 not out in the semi final. And now 46 not out. So he's gone over triple figures in his last two knocks. Chris Makata, where are you? And it's what you want to see. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Right, it's so 58 for one. We still got one ball to go in the over. We'll have the strategic timeout after this ball. Bob Rias it is. Ronke has hit it straight and out of the ground in six. It's his third consecutive 50 for Ronke. He had 56 versus the Maratha Arabian, 60 against the Pakhtuns. It's preempting it. 
bowling it wide. 50 partnership. Oh, how good is that? Shweb Malik takes off, tees off in great form. He's become such a world class player in limited overs cricket. He's extremely fit, still has got an eagle eye. Yeah, he thumped it. He saw that extra cover gap. That's not a very big gap. There is a long off. There is a very square. It's coming their way, probably. Look for a run out. Look for a sharp chance here. Oh, that is a huge one into the crowd. Shoaib Malik just releases the pressure. Punjabi legends needed that. Yes, a pressure buster in the slot. I'm going to try this final win. T10 concept yeah, I mean, he likes to get close to the ball, just like that, and a whack, and a six, and a gigantic one. Oh, it's on the roof. Isn't he entertaining? 101 for the loss of one. And a loss of a ball is should be taken, should be taken. That's the end of Shreve Malik. The forehand smash not working. Maybe Sanya Mirza would have been more successful in that execution. He's not a tennis player, but boy, what a talent has become Shreve Malik in limited overs cricket. Like an ox, tall as a ladder, hits the ball hard. He's had a low key tournament so far but in uh, there was about a thousand or a couple of thousands at the main gate trying to get in oh gone 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 wrong key is shot at the crease they're looking for a review I think he was he's quite tempted to give himself out yeah Ruchirapal Guru just want to be sure but that looked out yeah, Nicholas Puran, has he done it correctly? He has, he has, yes. Oh, has he? Oh, he hasn't, is it? Yes, the bail's off. The bail is definitely off. I don't know whether he took time to come off the groove, but let's see. Well, this should have been a straightforward run out chance. I think he probably missed it. In the first swipe but the bales did come off yeah the bail is off so he's gone Ronky will be on his way but not before impressing one and all with his majestic batting for Ronky oh, that's a bad misfield that really should have been stopped yes it was a strong hit but it wasn't too far away from Swelt and V's reach yeah, that's useful runs here. Yeah, so El Tanvir just diving over it. But on the subject of Ronki, Rami, see, that's the highest score of the tournament, the 69 he got. So he's had some uh, personal milestones. He's had a good uh, tournament, a lot of runs, good contributions to his team. Three balls to go in the over still. He goes again, this time over extra cover. May go all the way. Just a bit of football by Kyron Pollard. He'll allow him to come back for three. But yes, he's a very, very good uh, striker of the ball. Just double checking whether that was a, a clean stop. It was size 115. Making sure that that is blocked. <laughs> he's tall and he's strongly built. And clearly can play a bit of football as well what doesn't he do he can hit the ball hard been able to time the ball and misses the last ball and they miss a run out chance but still good enough because legends have got 120 on the board and Kerala Kings will have to bat well to win the inaugural final it won't be that straightforward and since one for 27 for Emirate and Shakib went for plenty Two overs, none for 31. Yeah, plenty of shots. It's 
especially from Ronke. He delivers in big matches. Continuing with his good form, Umar Akmal there wanted to hit the ball hard and then he was deceived by a slow one from Plunkett. The leg cutter doing the job, walking across the stumps, exposing the stumps. Ronke in the meantime was good. Most times glorious. Improvised beautifully. Not a big striker of the ball. He moves around the crease, but it's just the anticipation that makes him a, a good hitter. And then he's got this ability to mow the ball through the onside, through the offside. He lacks that flick. And he was very successful in hitting those across to the fence. That was a sensational shot. And then a scoop. Just a mere scoop. Nothing more than that for a six. A lot of fun to watch him. Shreb Mali came in and got a great partnership with Ronke on target for some big shots. This was six of Shakib Ul Hassan. Ronke just stretching himself to find the gap. Suits hitting the ball hard was Shreb Mali. That was a gigantic six. And then a smash that was picked up by Shakib Ul Hassan. Ronke with a 69 was run out in the end looking for an impossible second run Fahim Ashraf came in got a boundary Brethwaite was once again a little below par in, uh, in regard to big shots so they got to go at 12s from the get-go and here's Fahim with the reply in terms of fielding. And Walton straight away. And can you believe it? Trap was set. Walton's gone for a golden duck. Unbelievable start here for Fahim and the Legends. And what a nice bit of captaincy. They were so sure that Walton was going to play that shot. That placed the fielder there. He didn't have to move. Look at that. And the bowler must uh, give him uh, full credit for bowling in the right uh, slot. He couldn't have gone anywhere else but there. Outside off stump, just short of good length, good pace. And uh, Akmal doing it has been phenomenal. Point Morgan, a class act. This is a big reason why Kerala Kings is in final is because of this guy. An average strike rate of over 150. Best of 53 out. Yeah, he was looking for it. No ball for the height factor too. Going to have to reload this one. Well, tried to bowl the Yorker, but uh, the ball slipping out. Have a boundary. Didn't uh, see the ball properly. He's uh, changing season. It's a six. There we go. Rightly so. Uh, hang on. What was happening there? Well, normality and sanity prevails. Here we go inside edge under the pad sterling song can i sing uh, uh, yeah we want you to sing definitely my song um mere dil mein raho ya jigar mein raho mere dil mein raho ya jigar mein raho ya retired or took care because he he retired i know that but uh, he was my favorite and uh, i like uh... there is a monday here in the uae morgan up against fahim and he slices this over backward point left hander's angle against the right arm quick well, that's a prop that's something they're looking at they don't want to lose a wicket and give the in initiative uh, to kerala kings Here we go. Round the wicket. And spliced. And just out of the way of Chris Jordan. Back to back boundaries. Yeah. Now, just enough on it on the splice from Owen Morgan to get away from Jordan. Fahim staying round. And got most! Ah, oh, this is out of the screws. It is up on there in the roof. 
brilliant start from the skipper, Alan Morgan. This should be a 12, little on a six. Stunning. Oh, right of the wheat. Look at that go. Beautiful. In the backdrop of uh, dark skies. And there it goes and plonk on uh, the gentleman's head. Let's we'll see if he would have got it. Would have counted as a catch. Right in the slot from Fahim. Oh, yeah. Says it all. Skipper liked it. Two to go. Searching for more Yorkers. Clean it up from Morgan. And this over is suddenly getting away from Fahim. Well, he has dodged uh, Chris Jordan twice in this over. He's looking bewildered. Well, Chris Jordan, this is allowed. Should have been more straighter. Fahim also. One more in the third. Where's it going? It's going downtown for half a dozen. What an over, what a strike from Morgan. 24 off it. It is now 48 for one. Ball away from the right-hander. A little bit of hint of swing I've seen from him. But this wicket is too good. Too good. Like cement. Slow one and disappears. Can't bowl there. It brings up the half century for the Kerala Kings in style and the 50 partnership of course well there you go in 20 deliveries 50 has come 54 now and the required run rate Sterling he is pumped and going some and oh. now hang on hang on ah there she goes back to back maximums here from Sterling. Well, I thought that was going into Pujera. Look at that skinny ball, length ball, and look at that. Now, a lot of bottom hand and a lot of strength in that. Oh, let's have a hat trick of sexes. Make sure you're wearing your hard hat in the crowd. Sterlo's in town with Morgan well the Irish are setting the field alight these two Irishmen Super Sunday 51 required from 34 asking rate exactly nines some great performances in the middle and sideline and on the stage here in Sharjah Rashing blood. Oh, there's a misfield. And it's going to go all the way for a boundary, which will break the hearts, I reckon, of the Punjabi legends. Well, it's the it's a Swords Law, as they call it, or Murphy's Law. Everything is uh, going wrong. This was it straight to the fielder, but uh, oh, look at that. If it's not your day, this is what happens on a cricket field. Fahim uh, batted well. Oh, you can't bowl there, Ravi B. No, sir. Another maximum, and he's almost got 50 here. And Morgan, is he going to get it? I talk about greedy. Owen Morgan. Last ball of the fifth. Can he get it? Fastest 50. Yes. Yes, yes he can. Bad luck, Carlos. Not even you could get this. What a half century from Owen Morgan. It is the fastest in Hera T10. Yeah, a lot of interest for this T10 league. A lot of actors have flown in from India and Pakistan. Bands being played, drums being played a lot of noise buzz excitement color variety oh. oh yes sir made a terrific sound that bat so the hundred partnership comes uh, in the finals they've saved the best for the last and look at that uh, joy in kerala kings 
camp. My highlight is I'm one of the first to come in and when Shaji showed me the, the, the format, I immediately said yes and, and chose uh, Kerala. This is fantastic, thank you. 14 required from 21 balls and it's been a Morgan show with a bat. Partnership of 107 and there it goes again. It's muscle for another Morgan special. Ah, oh, kill the Irishman. They should have earlier. The captain, Captain Morgan of the Kings. He just can't be stopped here in Sharjah. Brilliant striking. It is a 6 6 here in the grand finale. 63 from 20 balls. And he goes again. It's skied up in the air. Will this be taken? Yes, beautifully done by Brethway. I think he's, he's done well. He didn't lose his focus, did not panic. Oh, and Morgan waits. He's been asked to wait. <laughs> I hope he's standing on the rope cushion, Brethway. He does the right thing. He flicks it. Here we go. Let's have a good look at this. I think he's all right through here. But it's when he comes back, watch this here. Is he? Nah, he's cool. Cool as a cucumber. Well done, Carlos Brathwaite. To get rid of Owen Morgan. Yeah, definitely. They reckon there. What? There we go. What? That's right. Yep. Fantastic presence of mind shown by Brathwaite. He knew exactly what to do. He had it covered. And then make these catches look so easy these days it's not a no ball on Morgan's innings has got to come to an end good to see fabulous piece of athleticism caught it with an art art body then threw the ball back into play without touching the rope his foot was not in contact with the rope and it's a clear magnificent catch Oh, UT, it's got to be the red light. As we check out uh, the new man in uh, Kyron Pollard, just being told that uh, Morgan's innings, his 50, is the best strike rate in this T10 tournament for... Right, he'll try again. Oh, stop, it's a single, scores a level... That's the end of the over. 120 for the loss of two. Still rubbing his rib cage. Oh, what a magnificent lunch is. It was houseful today for the finals day. Over 15,000 people turned up. Clear signal that uh, this T10 league is here to stay. Yeah, the owners are happy, the fans are happy, they're all dancing, enjoying the music. Scores are level. Kings will pick up the trophy, the inaugural T10 league trophy. Yeah, I think it's got a great little window, this. Nearly has got legs, as you say, Ramiz. Where they're, uh, they make it uh, a little bit longer, do you go for a little bit longer and have a day off in between? Run it for a week maybe instead of just four days crunched in. Oh, it's a wide. And that's goodbye and good night for the Punjabi legends. It's Owen Morgan and his men, Kerala Kings, that won it. And what a convincing run chase this has been. They were the better side on the day and they batted beautifully to track down that uh, decent total. Magnificent batting from the Captain Morgan, 63 from 21, Paul Sterling, 52 from 23. What a performance.
Yeah, and it's the biggest winning margin in terms of balls to spare in this uh, Hera T10. Wonderful stuff from the Irishman. Owen Morgan and Paul Sterling both getting half centuries to wrap things up. And yeah, big hugs for uh, the skipper Owen Morgan. Big smile on his face, and he is such a <laughs> humble, down to earth character. Wonderful leader of men. Doesn't search the spotlight, and he wants to just get on with the job and win matches, win them in grand style, and enjoyment is the key. To Owen Morgan in his cricket. So the skippers shake hands, the players do the same. And a dynamic tournament indeed, Ramesh Raj. I think everyone involved can be proud of uh, what's gone on here in the last four nights. Yeah, where else would you find 80 plus stars of T20 circuit appear on the same day? And that's the uniqueness about this T10 league. It happened twice. We, have, we had four matches on day two and day three, and that meant about 88 top quality players appearing in front of the fans. That's got to be special. Yeah, 120 posted on the board by the uh, Punjabi legends. Having been asked to bat first by Owen Morgan, who won the toss and said, I want to uh, chase down a total. That was set up again by Ronke and Mullet. They won this 